There's the kitty kitty. Well, go outside. Go. 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 Hold on. Go. Go outside. Go. I'll follow you. There's kitty kitty. There's kitty kitty sleeping. Um, my plants in their pots. It's better in pictures, gotta say. All right, that's my apple tree. My freedom apple tree, that's what I call it. Hope for a better future. Let's see. <coughs> the squash rinds I need to get up, gourds, and stripetti um, squash, spaghetti squash. Now let's check out our seeds. I planted them about a week ago. Ugh. Something cat keeps trying to dig. All right. I'm going to have to protect that better. Here's a little seedling. All right. That little seedling right there is a tiger melon. Butternut has not yet come up. I may have to reseed that. <coughs> I want butternut squash. Lots of it. Hey, get out of there. Ah, ah. Get out of there. Okay. This is my second pot. Stripetti and Bozeman watermelon. And now well, some of these, the stripetti came from these from last year. I found one broke open on the ground and I, I just took the seeds from it just to see what would happen. So, these big ones, I'm thinking, are Bozeman. And that little one, what little one's coming up? I don't know. I'm thinking Stripetti, perhaps. Okay. This is my Triamble and Canary Melon. And, yes, I put Kentucky Green Beans throughout all these pots. Let's see. All righty. So we have one, two, three, four canary melons. And I'm thinking the big ones are the triangle squashes. So we have three triangle squashes. Ah! Get out of stuff, brat. Rooting around where you don't belong. All right. This is the Blue Hubbard and Canary Melon. Yeah, I like Canary Melons. They're good. So, I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five Canary Melons. And the triangle's gone crazy. One, two, three, four, five. And right there, that little one just coming up, the yellowish little one, that will be one of the Kentucky Green Beans what I'm thinking that is and in the back we have one coming up right next to the big melon I think that's another green bean all right there's a green bean that's coming up and let's see sweet meat squash blue moon pumpkin and I'm not seeing much of anything in this one other than the green bean all right Bozeman watermelon, striped kusha squash, and uh, two, three watermelon, and three squash, which is good. This one got disturbed by watering, I think, so I'm going to spread it out. All right. Blue banana squash, delicata. And I am thinking these are probably the blue banana. They're pretty big squashes. The leaves would be pretty big. Pink banana squash and snow leopard melon. Snow leopard melons are really good. 
Okay, one, two, snow leopard melons I see up. Um, pink banana squash. Again, look at those massive leaves. Oh, wait. One, two, three, four, five. Five of the um, snow leopards. That works. All right. These, it's unlabeled, but these are just strictly Bozeman watermelon. And we got two of those coming up. Oh, three. Three. Three Bozeman's coming up. Really like the Bozeman watermelon. Okay, we have musk squash and snow leopard melon. And I'm looking. I see a little, few little weed seeds. And one musk squash. So, nothing huge going on, but one musk squash. That's enough. It can get the job done. All right, between, between. I put some seeds down in between the pots. They can grow and kind of climb up. Aha, that is a melon seed. Oh, and some of that broken squash, the stripetti squash. I think that's a, a melon seed. Let's see. Nothing there. Nothing in the middle there. Oh, they got the cow, looks like. Gonna take him home, her home actually. Yep, that's them. There's the truck that was chasing her. All right. Nothing over here, and I need to get soil for my front pots. I ran out of compost. I composted like crazy last year. Tons, pile of compost, gone. Just gone. All right, this is an ugly tomato. I grew this. I started the seed uh, 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 out. Out. I started this seed last growing season, but it took a long time to germinate. And it was the only seed I had from like, oh gosh, six years ago. And it was the only seed left, and I was praying it would germinate. But it took a long time, but it did. It was too late to plant outside. So it's been living in my house, um, being trimmed as needed. Um, being rooted, the trimmings being rooted for all last year and all over the winter. Well, it was plenty big enough and old enough to come outside this year. So, ugly uh, tomatoes, hopefully. And here's another one. It's just another cutting. Same plant, ugly tomato. That's all I got going on right now. I didn't intend to plant. I didn't, and then I decided I wanted to. There's a little stick of an ugly tomato. It's still green, and it looks like it's growing new leaves, so it should come up. And finally, another stick of the ugly tomato. It's also still green, so I'm guessing that it will also grow leaves and come up. Out! Out! You're ruining my berm. No. I need the berm here to keep the water in. Quit messing with it. You stay out of there. It's not for you. Okay. Oh, a hole. Hoping that's not a vole. No voles. <coughs> and the honey locust tree that I, gosh, four years ago. I got it as a 12 inch tall stick. I got a couple of them and they grew. And there's this one in the front yard and I planted one in the backyard. I have um, wind coming over my house um, and this is just, just too close to the house, just enough. The wind blows over the house so it's kind of bent it towards the front. We're just gonna let it do its thing, we'll deal. And then let me, 
see about zooming in. That is a white oak tree. Ian brought home um, a bunch of seeds from his school, and I put them in a baggie, Ziploc baggie, and I tossed them on my desk. Well, a year later, I went back and I found that some of them had germinated. And since the bag holds moisture, they were still alive. So I took that one and I grew it. And so it's about two years old. Yeah, about two years old. And it's doing great out here. It'll be fine. And back to the pots in front of the porch and my freedom apple tree which is bending over now too because of the wind it's gotten to the top of the roof I need to do something with it move it somewhere anyway that's it